Hey, this is Mass X with a new Street Fighter Duel video. And if you've been doing your logins every day and been checking in, then you should be able to claim your free, yes, free, hard to believe in this game, Fashion Blanca. So, get him if you haven't. But is this character worth it? Good question, you ask. Well, let's talk about Fashion Blanca because he's actually kind of wonky. I think they might have made a mistake, but actually not half bad. There's Mr. Fashion Blanca on the front screen. Kind of looking cool, but let's look at the character in depth. Now, the beauty of these fashion characters is you don't have to go crazy on them. You just have to link them up. And all you gotta do is link them with another character and they will get the same stats. So that is an awesome, kinda really cool thing that they do allow. So that's good news to make it easy to get him pumped up out of the gate. Then you just have to focus on his equipment as well as leveling up the fighting spirit stats but let's look in depth at him and see what his skills are entailing first off all right his super okay and maybe first before we get anything we want to go ahead and define wildfire because that is going to be incredibly important with him wildfire when dealing damage 35 percent chance to remove one-time wildfire and deals an additional flame damage equal to 310 percent of attack stacks up to 12 times base chance oh i continued on when i didn't need to but wildfire is the key with him okay so let's keep that in mind so let's go ahead and start at the top all right so super combos can be unleashed once the super combo gauge is full of course we know that why am i reading that who knows because it's late in the day i just got home from work and i am my mind is all over the place spews raging flames that strike enemies in a large area six times you got that right not one not two not three not four not five but six times dealing flame damage equal to 473 percent of attack each attack has a 20 percent chance base chance to inflict one time burn not shabby at all but then when you level them up level two when this skill inflicts burn on the target the fighter has a 35 percent chance to receive wildfire yes what we just talked about before keep that in mind level three increases damage to 520 percent of attack and the base chance to inflict burn to 25 percent kind of a nice push there to say the least okay so let's look at number one scorch power okay so when this skill is in position one we all know this i did it again okay let's move down to what it actually does charges up ashen power if fashion blanca is attacked while charging the attacker takes flame damage equal to 80 percent of fashion blanca's attack so keep that in mind that you're going to want to get his attack up once fully charged flames shoot at the farthest enemy dealing flame damage equal to 480 percent of attack which is really freaking cool all right overshooting that first one going to the back line like that shooting flames consumes one time wildfire wildfire effects consumed by the skill have a 40 percent chance to be resumed again and as a reminder wildfire what's it do when dealing damage 35 percent chance to remove 1x wildfire and deal additional flame damage equal to 300 eh, 310 percent of attack and it can stack up to 12 times all right next we have number two spin ball smash all right this is an aoe okay blanca becomes a ball of blazing fire yes you heard that right and swiftly shoots through the enemy ranks dealing flame damage equal to 266 percent of attack to enemies in a large area he leaves a trail of fire in his wake that lasts four seconds in which deals flame damage equal to 112 percent of attack at level two that fighter receives one x wildfire see you, got, you, you get where this is going wildfire 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 all right every seven times the trail of fire deals damage level three increases damage to 293 percent of attack and extends the duration of the trail of fire to five seconds very nice and the passive gain one x wildfire every six seconds after the battle begins okay 
maintains 1x defense up 5% for 12 seconds whenever wildfire is lost. Stacks up 12 times. Level 3, upon entering the battle, the fighter gains 2 times wildfire. Getting lots of wildfire. Level 4 gains 1 attack up 5% for 12 seconds whenever wildfire is lost. Stacks up to 12 times. Okay, now that we are through his skills, though, we gotta talk about something here, okay? When you look down at his breakdown, all right? He's a faction legendary. Well, obviously, we've already talked about that. He's a fighter type agility, okay. He's also got fighting style raging, and he's a fighter class tank. Was somebody, uh, you know, not paying attention? Hmm, okay. Well, let's get off of that subject for a second here because yeah, that makes no freaking sense. All right, so let's see what else is available to him real quickly before we move on. Garage, garage, garage. This is where it even gets more interesting, okay? His passive through garage, okay? If you get three of them open, you know, that does take some time, but just we might as well bring everybody's attention because it's pretty freaking cool. For every five instances of an additional damage caused with wildfire, Fashion Blanca inflicts taunt on all enemies for eight seconds and gains a non-dispellable shield equal to 30% of his max HP. Yeah! Okay, is he a true tank? No, but that definitely makes him more tanky. All right, and if you get all six, yeah. Okay, somebody will. Probably not me, but somebody will. If you are attacked while the shield is active, 100%, yes, 100% of damage is reflected back to the attacker. True damage, true damage. No more than 300% of Fashion Blanca's attack each time. That is freaking some pretty cool stuff. I gotta admit, that's cool. That makes him pretty brutal with the taunt, with the dispellable shield, or non-dispellable shield, and then, hey, okay, come on and hit me. Come on, I'm taunting you. And you know what? You're gonna take all this damage back at you too. So there, F you. Yeah, he's pretty, that's actually pretty cool to say the least. Now, last but not least, we've got to talk about those fighting spirit stats and what you do if you start working on that wild steel ring, okay? Well, let's look. When allies take flame damage, 15% chance to receive 1x wildfire triggers. The trigger interval is 3 seconds, which is actually cool. Now, if you unlock it to 5, the assist skill takes effect when the fighter is in an assist position. When the assisted fighter deals flame damage, 12% chance to receive one time attack up, equal to 8% of fashion. Blanca's attack for 12 seconds stacks up to four times. When taking flame damage, 12% chance to receive one time defense up, equal to 8% of Fashion Blanca's defense for 12 seconds, stacks up to four times. If you get it up to 10, when other teammates deal flame damage, 15% chance to gain a wildfire, and the trigger interval is only three seconds. If you get it to 20, when the fighter consumes wildfire, 40% chance to grant random ally one time wildfire. And if you get it to 30, increase the chance that other allies receive wildfire to 80%. When other allies consume wildfire, they also receive the defense and attack bonuses from Prairie Wildfire. Not a bad assist to say the least, kind of nice. We just went to the try now, as you can see, they did slot him in that first spot on the try now section, just for examples. But as you can see, let's slow this down. You can see what he is doing there. And you know, I just don't see him as a tank unless you're gonna get that garage all the way up, fully loaded to get both passives at a full six SSR, which is crazy to think. I think he's more suited as an assist if you're running some burn units. I think he would be really cool with that and do some serious damage. Or at a minimum, you're throwing him in the line, not front, not as a tank, with one other burn unit, and he's gonna do some silly damage. 
So let's have some fun. We just threw a quick lineup in here. We're gonna slow it down and take a look what he does in an actual setting here and what type of damage he can do. And we can look at the stats afterward. I went ahead and threw him in with another fire unit. And let's kind of just see what he can do. He's not built up, so besides what he gets from the legendary, his equipment's pretty weak as you probably saw. But he's definitely, for a free character, I mean, why not, man? He ain't bad at all, especially being free. Can never complain about that. Let's look at the stat. Oh, well, look at that, man. Look at that. He clocked in with the high damage, okay? Look at that, man, compared to everybody else. Completely nice. See, worthy, worthy, worthy unit to probably, especially if you're in to uh, fire-based teams, then he's gonna be a good one for you to use. Even if you decide to just go with that assist instead, he's gonna help you out all the way around that's really about it let me know your thoughts with him if you've already gone ahead and started testing it i definitely think for a free unit we can't complain with this one let's hope they keep giving us stuff like this too on top of other things to help us out when they decide not to be so player friendly as always please like and subscribe it helps so much have a great day